Hi, I'm Josh Finn from J&A Aerospace, and this is the build video for our 2022 model boxes. Why do you care about a build video for model boxes? Well, this is a convenient size box to carry right stuff, uh, Science Olympiad airplanes around in. Uh, it should also work for Technology Student Association airplanes for uh, the ones that we're making for this year's rules. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is sized for your airline carry-on restrictions, so you can safely carry it as carry-on rather than checking your model as baggage and risking the baggage handlers tearing it up. So the way it works is it is simply a foam board box that is the right size to store your airplanes. Right now I have two in here. I have gotten up to four in this box. It takes a little bit of work to get four in there, but uh, three is easy. So just as a demonstration, I can take uh, my electron out of this box. I can attempt to take my electron out of this box. And in just a, a moment here, I can have it assembled and ready to fly. And there you go, set our stab tilt, and the airplane's ready to go. And in just a very quick moment, you can take it back apart and slide it back into the box. And off you go. Now, one word of warning with these boxes, there is no accommodation in them for tools. Do not carry your tools with your airplane because they will rattle around in the box and they will tear up the airplanes. Um, I won't talk about how I know that. But if you have ever carried tools with your airplanes in a box, you only do it once. So with that, let's get started with the build. All right. When you get your box, uh, because of packaging requirements, it's going to all the the main parts are going to be folded in half, like so. So before you take care of that, you're going to want to go ahead and remove these strips along here. So the way that you do that is go ahead and get everything creased and freed up. You may need a razor blade to slide in here and free some of the foam just be careful not to cut through the paper backing because you're going to need it and then this is just the way you would do the slots on a flight test airplane where you break these strips free and peel them out And so we'll come back once we've done that on both this sheet and this other large one. The first thing you're going to want to do is squirt some glue in this seam across here. Once I get my glue gun running here. Also, these slots, you want to try to scrape the glue out so that you can lay that down smoothly. 
All right, so when we join the sides of this box, or, well, when we fold them up, we're going to want to fold them up and over, like so. So it comes over and locks in. And apologies if this looks like it's requiring a whole lot of effort. I believe the element is going in my hot glue gun. So we're pressing this down so we get a good join. In this case, I don't really like our adhesion here. Now, now we're sealed up good. So we're going to repeat the same thing over on this side. Now the one thing that you want to be really careful about is the glue, especially if it's um, fairly hot, will actually soak through that paper and start to stick to your table or whatever, which leaves nasty marks on your table. Next we need to join the ends of the box, and these are just going to go on like this. Now if you notice, up at the top it's not fitting quite right, and that's because it's hard to get these straight, so you're going to want to bend it out to match, just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one side and the bottom. That side, and then we can. And this is. Oh. By the way, hot glue is hot and it flows downhill, so if you are under it, you will get bit. And at this point, you just have to hold it and wait for a little while. stuck some on the table. If you get the hot glue stuck on the table, do not immediately try to peel it up. Wait for it to cool off and, um, and harden, and then you can come back and pick it up. Harden is not the correct term. Solidify is. Yeah, that's still not all the way. And then the last thing we're going to do is squirt some glue under here. And pull this one out and lock it in. Still not wanting to. 
we'll come back when it's cooled off. So we have the other end of the box on. One thing I do want to show you is I typically come in here afterwards and I fillet all of my seams. Since this is not um, something that's designed to, uh, you know, produce aerodynamic lift, weight is not exactly a concern. So, glue it up. We're now moving on to the lid. So, same procedure as before for taking care of that center seam. I like to come back with scraps and smooth this stuff out. Makes your box fit together better as well as not having things for model airplane parts to snag on and get damaged. Now the way that we're going to do this is we're going to fold these sides like so, so that we're going to fold them in. I'm wanting to say this is what flight test calls an A-fold or something like that. I never learned all those terms though, so... And this is one where you really want to watch out that you don't glue anything to the table. So notice I'm moving this around. The other thing is that you want, and by the way, don't reach down there on that seam because it's hot and it will hurt if you touch it. I'm going to clean out anything that squirts out the ends. Additionally, on this lid, since it has to fit down over the box, be sure to clear out any excess along here. So we're going to come back and we're going to do the other side and then we'll resume. Alright, so we've got both of these sides of our lid done. So now all we have to do is join the ends. And so the ends only go on one way, so they're a little harder to mess up. Not saying you can't, but they're a little harder. And then we do our same cleanup procedure as before. All right, we'll come back when that's cooled off. All right, so our lid is done. Now the rest of our box. So now everything slides together. The first few times, um, it's not going to fit together quite perfectly, but there you go. Uh, loosens up over time. Uh, one thing you may want to do is get a thick rubber band or a Velcro strap to hold the lid down it does as you can see mine is actually twisted slightly and I don't know that it's going to untwist it may over time but it tends to pop up like that like I said you can wrap a rubber band around it and it'll stay nice and flat 
Uh, basically, the only real uh, issues with these boxes are, uh, you know, don't let them be thrown across the room because your airplane is just moving freely inside and it'll get damaged. Also, don't let these get wet because the paper is not waterproof. Uh, and even on the water-resistant foam boards, I would say avoid getting it wet because that's an issue. You can varnish these boxes, which makes them quite water-resistant. Um, the water-based polyurethanes work quite well. I think regular polyurethane will work well also, but you would want to get a scrap piece of um, a foam board to make sure that the foam is not going to dissolve with uh, oil-based uh, polyurethanes. Oil-based are much better because they're very, very uh, resistant to water penetration. But anyway, those are the main things you need to know. So this is the J&H Aerospace model box for 2022. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.